McLean's Connects commentary for Tuesday, May the 4th. Huge day, historic day in Vancouver as we are looking at BC Place, the roof of BC Place, slowly, ever so slowly being deflated. Not wearing the jersey today. In fact, I wasn't planning to do this today, but then I had to because look behind me. That's BC Place Stadium. And after 28 years, the stadium is getting a brand new retractable roof. And looking up where the bubble roof used to be and seeing the void now in the Vancouver in the Vancouver skyline reminds me how I feel today, just 24 hours after the Canucks dropped the 4-2 decision to the Chicago Blackhawks, evening their series at one game apiece. I feel empty inside, like something is missing. I feel deflated. Now, does that make me a fair weather fan or a bandwagon jumper? I don't think so. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I'd say I'm a true fan. I stand by the team through thick and through thin, and I'll live and die by the team. And speaking of death, I admit that I've already had enough of that Chelsea dagger song. It makes me want to stick a dagger through my own head. Last CCC, I admitted that it was almost kind of catchy, and I felt sorry for Chicago. No more of that. No more nonsensical gibberish. I'm Canucks all through and through. So as a true but objective fan, there were a few things that concerned me last night, even after the Canucks got off to an awesome start. Number one, burying their chances. Both VX and Henrik had glorious chances in the first period to make the lead even bigger. And one has to wonder if Chicago would have been able to come back from 3-0 instead of just 2-0. Number two, our power play. One for six simply isn't good enough. It would have been great if Vancouver capitalized on one of their two third period chances. And the fact that Chicago scored a shorthanded goal just adds insult to injury. And thirdly, lack of firepower. For the second straight game, we were badly outshot in the third period. Again, we were nursing a lead heading into the final frame, but this time, we simply couldn't hold on. But don't fret, Canucks fans, because there are positives. Our penalty kill has been good. Raymond is providing some much needed offense and Roberto Luongo has been stellar. Now I'm blessed to be going to Game 3 at GM Place, and the Canucks were 6-1 in games that I went to in the regular season, and I'm confident that the trend will continue. It's now a best of five, the fun has just begun. And hopefully, we're going to blow the roof off of GM Place. Figuratively, not literally. God bless, and go Canucks go.